At Wham Bam Dash Cam, we meticulously craft every episode using curated footage you won't find on any other channels. From wild wrecks to lying drivers, instant justice to crazy close calls, buckle up for an exciting ride. This emitter was a few blocks from work when a trucker made an unprotected left turn across his lane. Our submitter told us he slammed on the brakes, but it wasn't enough to prevent a collision. The warning labels on the tank indicate it's used to transport Class 3 flammable liquids, but we don't know if it was full at the time. Our submitter told us the trucker immediately admitted fault. Sadly, his 2007 Honda Accord was totaled, but he has since made a full physical recovery. Caleb was headed home after visiting his parents when a BMW driver ran a stop sign and turned onto the road in front of him. By the time Caleb realized the BMW wasn't stopping at the stop sign, it was too late for him to slow down from 55 miles per hour. To make matters worse, the BMW driver came to a complete stop before the impact. The South Carolina Highway Patrol responded to the scene, as did the owner of the BMW, who rode over on her bicycle after watching the collision happen from her house close by. What happened next will floor you. Caleb told us the BMW owner accused him of smelling like alcohol and asked if he had been drinking. He replied that he had not been, but he also smelled alcohol. The trooper then realized the BMW driver smelled like alcohol, not Caleb. The trooper gave the BMW driver a field sobriety test. We don't know how he did, but Caleb did tell us the trooper arrested him after the test was over. Caleb's Kia Forte was totaled, but we only wish that was the end of his troubles. The BMW owner's insurance provider tried to blame Caleb for the collision, and when he pointed out the BMW driver had been arrested, they said they couldn't find the arrest report and were still going to find him partially liable. He called the highway patrol and had the arrest report five minutes later. When he sent it to the insurance company, they told him they'd accidentally been looking for it in the wrong county. They ended up accepting responsibility. Jeremy was turning left from the rightmost turn lane when a driver in a straight only lane ran their red light before merging in front of him. Jeremy honked, but the other driver didn't seem to notice. Thankfully, a police officer a short distance behind Jeremy did notice, and he lit up his party lights and chased down the red light runner for some instant justice. Jeremy told us he had a good laugh and carried on. Michael was driving his 99 BMW Z3 Roadster, which he calls my daily driver and my baby, when a white Buick suddenly pulled into traffic before getting T-boned. Michael pulled over, as did the driver of another BMW who had also T-boned the Buick, which ended up high-centered on a traffic island before coming to a stop. Police and paramedics responded. As far as we know, the elderly Buick driver wasn't hurt, and neither were Michael or the driver of the other BMW. Michael is waiting to find out what will happen to his Z3. Jonathan was on his way to get a late night snack and was headed down a highway on ramp when he found himself driving behind a cement mixing truck. He tried to stay back and avoid any debris, but he didn't stay back far enough. A big chunk of dried cement was launched at Jonathan's Volkswagen Arteon by the truck's rear tires, and he couldn't avoid running it over and flattening one of his front tires. With the help of some family members, he was able to mount his spare tire, and thankfully, nothing else was damaged. He told us, these debris have aimbot for sure. Where do you think the chunk of concrete came from? Michael was headed home from school and was going about 40 miles per hour when a Nissan Altima suddenly began turning into his lane. Michael was able to swerve into the oncoming lane to avoid a collision before regaining control. Thankfully, no contact was made and he was able to continue on his way home. After pulling up to a three-way stop, Logan began to proceed since he had the right-of-way. As he turned left, a driver from the right ran their stop sign. Oh. 
The SUV T-boned the side of Logan's 2004 Toyota Corolla. He told us the teenage driver and passenger, who were both unlicensed and driving their parents' vehicle, immediately began blaming him for causing the collision. Logan told us that when he told them he had a dash cam, their faces turned white. Sadly, his Corolla, which had 400,000 miles on it, was totaled by the impact, and the other driver's insurance provider paid him a settlement of 4,500 US dollars. Grant was on his way to school when he was passed by a pickup pulling a trailer with some pieces of corrugated sheet metal poorly strapped down to it. Not long after, those same pieces of metal would be all over the highway. Grant slowed down and tried to avoid hitting the debris, but traffic in neighboring lanes prevented him from swerving. Thankfully, his Ford F-150 wasn't damaged and none of his tires were punctured by the metal. Jackie was almost home after picking up a pizza and was driving behind a Cadillac. Suddenly, she watched the Cadillac run head-on into an oncoming SUV that was on the wrong side of the road. Jackie immediately stopped to check on the drivers. Thankfully, nobody was seriously hurt. She told us the driver of the SUV seemed really confused and didn't know how to open his door. She told us that she doesn't know for sure, but she thinks the SUV driver was intoxicated. She shared her dash cam video with police and firefighters when they arrived. Braden was driving at about 30 miles per hour on a snowy highway well below the 70 mile per hour speed limit. When he noticed traffic ahead stopping, he hit the brakes before losing control and sliding off the road and into the ditch. Thankfully, a Michigan state trooper stopped just a few minutes later and helped Braden call a tow truck. He had to pay $150 US dollars to have his Honda Civic towed to the next exit before he followed his dad the rest of the way home. Mark was two minutes from work when an oncoming driver made a turn through a gap and stopped traffic, and by the time Mark saw what was happening, it was too late for him to react. Mark's dash cam was knocked vertical by the T-bone collision, but he told us his Ford Focus was spun 180 degrees by the impact. Thankfully, he wasn't hurt, and he told us it's pretty crazy I walked away from this one. Unsurprisingly, the driver of the Acura MDX immediately blamed him for the collision, but his dash cam footage resulted in the insurance company ruling in his favor. This next video is a Tesla behaving badly, but it's definitely a strange one. Dougie was behind a brand new Tesla in a car wash when the driver hit the brakes, causing Dougie's Subaru Forester to rear end it. What makes this a Tesla behaving badly is not the fact that the driver made a dumb mistake, but the fact that they blamed their car by saying the brakes had applied themselves. We've checked with multiple Tesla drivers, including Wham Bam himself, and they've confirmed that even without car wash mode turned on, a Tesla would never apply automatic emergency braking in a car wash. Dougie got tired of arguing and decided to let the whole thing go. She told us she and her boyfriend both watch our videos regularly, and while she was upset by the collision, she was excited to have a video to send to Wham Bam. Brendan was headed across an intersection when the traffic ahead of him stopped without warning. Before he knew it, he'd rear-ended the pickup truck in front of him. Brendan was devastated. After pulling into a gas station parking lot and calling the police, he took responsibility for the collision and his insurance provider paid to fix the damage to the pickup. He's thankful nobody was hurt. His father and grandfather helped him fix his Chevy Metro. He told us watching Wham Bam videos inspired him to buy his dash cam. If you need one, check the link in the description. Casey Keys was waiting in a left turn lane when a semi-truck turning in front of her cut the corner a little too close, only stopping when she laid on the horn. Oh my God. Thankfully, the trucker heard her honking and stopped with inches to spare. Once she backed up as much as she could, the truck was able to finish the turn. Her 10-year-old son summed up the situation nicely. Mark was headed down a highway in Reno when the driver of a pickup truck sideswiped him to get into his lane.
Mark told us the pickup driver never stopped, so neither did he. He continued to work and made a report with the highway patrol. Thankfully, the damage to his Ford F-350 was minimal. Shemek was driving in England when he noticed another driver trying to pass him on the right. By the time he noticed them, they had no choice but to go into the oncoming lane and up over a traffic island. Shemek pulled over while the reckless driver continued until they crashed into a wall before getting out and running off. And that's when he found out why they were in such a hurry. A police officer flew past in hot pursuit before pinning the car to the wall and taking off after the runners on foot. Shemek told us he read on the news that the two teenagers had been caught after going for a joyride. After Franco proceeded through a green light, the driver of a car in the other lane suddenly merged into his lane, sideswiping his Toyota Tundra. Franco stopped to check on the other driver. Thankfully, nobody was injured in the collision. His insurance provider gave him $1,000 to fix the damage to his pickup truck. Julian was turning into a parking lot when he suddenly encountered an oncoming SUV that was going the wrong way in Julian's lane. When Julian honked, the oblivious driver veered to their right, nearly sideswiping a passing pickup truck. Thankfully, no collisions occurred. Marco was driving down a road in Florida when a tow truck passed him before merging into his lane. Right after that, the driver ahead of the tow truck slowed down to turn, but the tow truck was following too closely. The tow truck rear-ended the car, ripping its rear bumper cover off as it turned into an apartment complex. Marco said it looked to him like the car had broken taillights even before the collision, but that can't be seen in the video. This emitter had left their Rivian R1T in a parking lot when the gear guard cameras, Rivian's version of Tesla's sentry mode, captured this footage of a bird eating bugs out of the pickup truck's grill. We're not sure, but that looks like a female house sparrow. What do you think? Wingspan nerds, post your guess in the comments below, and we'll see you next week. Wham! Bam! We got a Patreon man. Please support the show.